So in the last video, you dipped your toe into procedural generation and created this awesome animal pen. In this video, we're gonna build off of that and we're gonna create an abandoned pasture, allowing you to set whatever foliage you want in there dynamically with just an enum. This abandoned pasture is meant to be full of foliage that is not interactable, but adds a little bit of element to your scene. It will add the ability to remove the fence if you don't want it or have it there just in case. If you didn't watch the last video first, I suggest watching that because we go over what procedural generation is and how to create that really great animal pen. And we're gonna build off of that in this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Taken Grace and I make Unreal Engine tutorials and videos just like this. So if you do wanna become a better game dev with me, consider joining the realm and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's continue to work on your procedural generation skills in this video. All right, let's get started on this abandoned pasture. Uh, so once again, make sure that you've done the um, animal pen video here because we are not doing the actual generation of the pen in this video. We're just gonna duplicate um, our, in our world folder here, our animal pen. We're gonna duplicate that. And we're gonna call it BP abandoned, abandoned pasture. All right, so the other uh, prerequisite for this is we need to download a foliage of some variety, okay? So if you don't have one, uh, I'm just gonna show you one that I'm gonna use, which is free in the Fab Store. So we'll open up the Fab Store. I'm just gonna go to my library here. It's called, uh, I'll, uh, the link's in the description for this one specifically, so. Uh, but yeah, this is the one I'm gonna use. It's called Low Poly Market Pack. Uh, it comes with a bunch of, you know, uh, vegetables and fruit and basically a market or whatever. This is not the the pack we're going to be using for the other one, which is the um, the garden plot or whatever. Uh, we're going to use a different pack for that, but um, it does come with some foliage, some grass and all this kind of stuff. Looks really nice. So anyways, I'm going to add that to my project. Oh, it's not compatible with blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we'll do 5.4 and we'll add to project and then it'll be all good. Uh, all right, before we get into the um, the abandoned pasture blueprint, we are going to create a uh, enumeration. So we'll go blueprint enumeration, and this is going to be foliage type. Okay, we're gonna open that up, and uh, we could uh, open our content drawer, we'll dock and layout, and uh, then we are going to, well, first of all, well, I'm gonna put this on my other screen, but basically I'm just gonna go to the low poly market, go to the meshes and find the flowers. So, um, you know, here they are here, all the flowers. And then we got down here the types of grass. Uh, yeah, grass one, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the static meshes are still loading in, obviously. Um, but yeah, so these all have wind in them, which is really nice. So yeah, uh, I'll just drag this on my other screen and then we'll name everything as appropriate. So we'll start with, uh, looks like all the colors of flowers. So pink flower, red flower, blue flower, yellow flower, dandy lions. I don't know how to spell the actual name, but whatever. Tulips. I mean, I'm not a flower guy, so, you know don't know the actual names of any of these ones. So, uh, okay. And then we want the three different types of grass. So we'll have short grass, long grass and wild grass. Okay. So that animation is done. We'll hit save. We'll close that. Um, we will, I'll close all these cause this is from the last video. We are going to now open our, um, abandoned pasture. Okay. Uh, so this is a complete duplicate of the animal one. So we're going to obviously make some changes here. So we'll start with over here. Um, animal in pen, we are gonna delete that completely. We're, let's just delete all of this to start. Okay, animal pen, we are deleting that completely. Number of animals, uh, we're gonna change the number of foliage. Pen width and pen length are the same. Pen location is the same. Um, we do need to add one more, which will be the crop type, which we just added. Foliage type, and we will get that enumeration we made full. There we go. Okay, that will be instance editable, okay? Uh, we need to add um, two more to this. So we are gonna make, uh, they're more, yeah, they're more static, uh, instant static meshes. So we're gonna call this one foliage and we'll call, whoops, and we'll duplicate that and we'll call it grass. Okay, so the idea behind this is um, we don't want the entire pasture to have all of the, of the one type of foliage you choose. We're gonna wanna basically fill it with grass and then sprinkle in some foliage, right? So that's what we're gonna do here. All right, so in the construction scripts, we are, uh, cause we have the sets animal pen limit. We are gonna open that up. Um, I don't think we need this function in here. So we're gonna name it something else, obviously. We will say sets foliage limit, foliage pen limit. Okay, uh, we don't need this anymore so we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of this branch we'll get rid of this and we will use this okay we'll come on down here we'll plug this into the number of foliage and we're going to get rid of this divide node and we're going to plug in our maximum 
I actually believe we don't even need, yeah, we don't even need this clamp um, and we don't need this. We just need this only and we're gonna add a pin and we're gonna times it by, we'll say three. Okay, so obviously we need way more foliage than we do animals uh, <laughs> in our animal pens. So pen width by pen length, we'll say five times five is 25 times three, 75 different uh, instances of foliage, okay? So we'll plug that in. Uh, this can be changed based on your particular liking. Okay, uh, in the in construction script that we are gonna set the foliage pen limit, okay? Everything else is exactly the same in here. I don't think we need anything else. You could add a Boolean maybe if you wanted, uh, that you wanna hi specifically hide the, the mesh for the fence posts. Why don't we do that? Because maybe you just want some pasture, you know, some stuff. So um, we'll add a Boolean, we'll call fence, sorry, build fence, we'll call it, question mark. And this will be a Boolean and this will be instance editable. We'll drag this in and we will get a branch. Okay, uh, true, we wanna plug this in, okay? So we will uh, copy this, because we need this, and we'll paste it over here, and then we'll add this function, sets foliage pen limit, okay? Uh, okay, one more thing in the construction script here is we are going to, uh, we're gonna grab our foliage, and uh, we are going to add instance, and we're gonna get a for each loop, well, for loop, or for loop, so pardon me, for loop. Okay, we're gonna get a for loop. Uh, this has to be the same for both. We'll put it over here just so we can uh, plug this into the for loop and plug this into the for loop. Okay, so both ways you'll have a fence, but all the stuff will be doing the same thing. Okay, so we'll just uh, comment box this and say um, generates fence. This, now we're gonna plug in our number of foliage to the last index. And of course we will, uh, we'll leave it at zero. It doesn't matter because there's so many that it, We'll make a difference, so. Okay, so uh, I totally lost my train of thought there. So before we do this, we actually need to get our foliage and we need to set static mesh. What's going on here is uh, obviously when we change the enum, we wanna change the static mesh that goes with it. So uh, we're gonna get the foliage type and we're gonna get a select node. We're gonna plug this into this and then we get access to all of this stuff, okay? so. Uh, pink flower, we're just gonna select, uh, let's type in flower, does it give us? Yeah, it does. So pink flower, you know what, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it this way, just cause it's easier and cleaner. All right, tulip, yellow flower, or those are the dandelions, pardon me. Dandelions, red flower, yellow flower, blue flower, and then the grass. So there's wild grass. Uh, did these not get their, oh, why is it the world grid material? Materials grass master there we go both the grasses have their their uh, textures now and i can go back to this and add those okay grass three grass two is the long grass and grass one is the short grass okay we'll hit compile uh okay so now we're gonna add uh instances of either foliage or grass based on a rng thing so we're gonna get uh sorry uh we'll get a random float this will generate a number between zero and one. So we're just gonna check um, this random float equals. Okay, uh, if it's true, actually instead of equals equals, let's do a um, greater or equal to, pardon me. That was the wrong node to use. Okay, plug that in. Perfect, so if it's true, we are going to add foliage. If it's false, we're gonna add grass. Okay, and we'll make sure grass is plugged into here. Make sure these are checked world space. Uh, okay, we're gonna do something similar. Uh, let's just open up our, uh, cause I deleted, we deleted the um, other thing there. So content world, uh, we'll open up our animal pen. And we're gonna copy this, cause it's the exact same, like all of these copy. We'll go back to our abandoned pasture and we'll paste. Uh, let's just make, put this into a, a node and we'll just say calculates spawn transform. Put that in there and we need the, we'll need this first, which will be the location. And this, which will be the Z rotation, okay? Hit compile, we'll go back to the event, or pardon me, the construction script. All right, so now that we got that done, we are going to, uh, it'll be the same for both, so we'll just plug, uh, sorry, I guess we gotta split these, hey? Split uh, the rotation as well. We'll do location, location, rotation to Z, rotation to Z, okay? We'll compile. Uh, to be honest, I think this will work good. So let's uh, check it out. Hey, these are our animal pens. We are now going to do the... What happened to the... Oh, oh my god, I'm super dumb, sorry. 
You know what? This should be before the branch. It, sorry, yeah, this should be before the branch because otherwise it's not going to work because uh, if we don't have the fence being built. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what happens. Okay, so we've built some fence. Some funky things are happening. What is happening here? No. Foliage? Foliage is set to the post by default, so let's get rid of that. The grass is also set to post by default, so let's get rid of that. Maybe that's what's going on here. Yeah, that is what was going on. Okay, so a lot of flowers, not a whole lot of um, not a whole lot of grass. Uh, yeah, there's not no grass in here. Is it because I didn't set the grass foliage? And we should be. Yeah, we should be. So the grass foliage should be, um, you know, the short grass, which was in here. Meshes, short grass, right here. Okay, we'll put that in there. We'll hit compile, and we'll just have a look at what we got here. All right, there we go. We got some grass in there. We can check all of our different flowers now. The red flower. Red flower is huge. Jeez. Uh, the dandelion. Oh, the dandelion kind of gets overshadowed by these. You know, change these things for. Blue flower, you know, red flower, whatever. So uh, there you guys go. Yeah, once again, if you guys want to make these flowers a bit, bit higher, like you can see the... Uh, the static mesh or sorry the the static mesh for all of like the um, the grass and the, all that kind of stuff looks like it's a little bit high so you can uh, just drag those into the world so like this red flower for example right and just do the same thing we did last video uh, make sure you're in modeling mode x form edit, edit pivot and uh, you know if you want to make move this down a little bit then sure and then you hit accept and it should update all your flowers there okay um, and the same thing with the grass the grass actually looks like super high but I actually want it to be lower because it's supposed to be short grass right so I'll edit pivot we'll bring that up just a hair all right cool so that's literally it so uh, nothing too complicated so now we can hide the fence if we don't want it or build a fence if we do so uh yeah really good easy way and then in the next video we're going to be doing crops as well so uh you can add crops in here these are non um uh it'll be a little bit different you'll just add the crop to this enum um because in the next video we're going to be doing them in blueprints because ideally if you have crops you want them to be interactable so you want to pick up or uh, interact with the item and then pick it up and then it disappears right so um and then you know stuff happens in the game like it adds to your inventory or you know whatever the case is um but these are you know these are designed to be non-interactable so if you wanted to put like corn plants in here or like wheat or like whatever you want uh just add it into the foliage type here and then you're all done Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to keep learning in Unreal Engine, uh, you can watch uh, this video right here to help you become a better game dev. Special thanks to my Realm Royal members. If you want to become a member and get access to videos early, access to the Discord with exclusive roles and other benefits, check out the coffee page and see what tier works for you. Like and subscribe to the video, leave a comment, let me know what's going on, and keep learning till you game over. Peace.